hey guys welcome back to my channel i am back with another video i am so excited <laughs> um i did a video on how to customize your closure to look like a frontal as the title of the video says um in my previous video i requested you guys to let me know which if you wanted me to film a video on how i customize my closure to look like this to look like it's a frontal but it's not so if you want to see how i did that um please continue to watch so you're going to need the following this little brush over here this plastic container to put your mixture in gentian violet which i use to cancel out the orange that the bleach is going to create on the hair some conditioner purple shampoo to also cancel out the orange from the bleach and the actual highlight kit that you're going to need to bleach the hair i'm going to show you what's inside the highlight kit you're only going to need the highlighting powder and the developer everything else in there you don't really need because conditioner which you already have and an old brush which you also already have and a cap which you're not going to need because you're not doing streaks unless you are of course there's also a pair of gloves inside which i eventually forgot to use okay guys you're gonna want to lay your stuff on a surface that doesn't get affected by bleach otherwise you can put a plastic before I don't need to do that now I'm going to mix my bleach I am going to take my highlighting powder and my developer I'm going to put about a quarter of the mixture of the powder inside and then add developer to it to form like a thick paste mix 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 and how i make sure that my mixture is thick enough you have to be able to turn the container upside down and nothing should fall out i'm going to show you just now that's how thick it should be otherwise if it is too runny then it's gonna seep through the lace and dye your actual hair and you don't want to do that so our mixture is ready as you can see I'm just now going to put it on my lace guys i forgot to put my gloves on and eventually i dyed my fingers with the gentian violet you'll see later i'm just applying the bleach onto my closure um paying careful attention to the front because that is the focal point that's where everybody sees i left the wig to sit for about 20 minutes and now i'm going to wash off the dye and the rest of the wig I'm just rinsing off the excess before I go in with shampoo the lace at this point you'll see it's a bit orange and that is the whole purpose of using purple shampoo and gentian violet now it's shampoo time because I actually was wearing this wig before um i just changed the closure it's actually the wig that you guys have seen before and i've worn it quite a couple of times and it needed a wash that's why i'm going in with shampoo normal shampoo before i go in with the purple one i'm just making sure that there aren't any tangles in the hair now i'm going to take a bucket and then put the gentian violets in 
the reason why i put it in a bucket is because it can it dyes every surface that it comes in contact with um including my fingers because i forgot to put gloves <laughs> but um that's why i'm putting it in a bucket so that it doesn't dye my basin i take about half a cap of the violet and then pour some water as well now i'm going to take my purple shampoo the reason why i mix it with gentian violet is because the shampoo is not strong en enough to cancel out all the orange um gentian violet violet then helps with that so i put about a pea size on my hands and then i'm just leathering or rubbing that into my closure before i put it into the violet mixture so now i'm just gonna put it into the violet mixture and this i promise you works to erase all orange you know sometimes when you bleach even when you bleach like your whole wig to get it to not be that gingerish orange look you can do this and it will come out amazing now i'm spilling that water and rinsing the hair again with clean water before i condition it I'm towel drying the hair before I condition it. It just I feel like it helps the conditioner to get through the hair much better. Now our hair is dry or well, it's damp and it's conditioner ready. I take about two pumps for the whole hair and I detangle the hair during this process if it's like curly hair because it makes it easier. It's actually easier to detangle any hair when it's wet. I'm just taking a normal plastic and I'm putting all the wig in there and I'm going to leave it overnight. This is the next morning. I let the hair air dry. Don't mind the closure. I was bleaching it for another wig. Um, but I just want to show you the hair is not completely dry yet. It's been a couple of hours outside. But... I just wanted to show you that the knots are properly bleached. Our wig is now 100% dry and I'm now going to start bleaching the knots. I take just water and conditioner to just spray through the hair because I prefer plucking the hair when wet instead of dry. So I take a pair of um, tweezers and I just pluck the hairline. I'm going to do half of the hairline just to show you the difference between a plucked hairline and an unplucked hairline. So I'm just plucking through, I'm just plucking through the hair. I create a parting to just go through the hair and make sure that the amount of hair I pull out is not in chunks, but like bit by bit. You really need to take your time during this process because you don't want to over pluck your hair or pull out chunks of hair which is going to look really bad so guys here's the difference the other half is plucked and the other half is not plucked i'm not done plucking yet but you can see a difference already i'm just going to pull out a few more hairs in the front just to make it a little bit more natural this is the amount of hair that i got out when i finished plucking everything which i have now now i'm just creating baby hairs which i generally don't do but people always ask me how i do my hair my baby hairs so this is how i would do them i take a pair um i take a razor and then i just cut through the little really 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 little hair that i pulled out in front for my baby hairs i don't like those chunky you know big very visible baby hairs so this is how i create mine but obviously preference is preference i'm taking my got to be glued and my spoolie that i use for my brows and i'm going to take a little bit of that to just lay the baby hairs down 
basically to get them out of the way because I'm going to work on the hair to make it more realistic. I actually don't know why I took that guys because this is the time where I needed to put mousse but I didn't I don't know why now I'm going to take my iron yes my iron <laughs> and I'm going to just iron down the front of the hair this just helps give it a more natural look because obviously naturally the way hair grows is that it's pulled more towards the back just to help it lay down and give it that slay feel now I'm taking my argan oil. I take about a couple of drops, really, and then I'm just going to rub that through my hair. Um, this really gives the hair a nice, glowy, shiny look and just moisturizes the hair and gives it like a luxurious, healthy vibe. I love this. I love this argan oil, guys. Now I'm going to straighten my hair. I'm taking this heat protectant spray from clicks and i'm just going to spray through my entire wig and i'm only going to straighten this small part on here the rest i'm going to do offline and i'm just straightening the hair some people prefer ironing the hair i also do but if you have a really good straightener then i prefer you use the straightener because some irons are hotter than others, so you don't want to damage your wig. So now I'm done customizing my wig. I am going to put it on and show you where and how i start i'm just gonna put my stocking on which i never do i never put i never put stockings on and i'm just gonna push it back because i just wanted covering the hair and nothing else i'm going to put my wig on So now guys, what I'm going to do first of all is that I'm going to cut the lace and I'm going to use, do that using the razor. This is very sharp so please be extra careful at this stage. I'm going to start at this corner, the side of the hair. I'm going to take my razor and then I'm cutting it right next to where the hair it, um the actual wig ends obviously moving the baby hairs out of the way and i'm just going to drag that i don't know if you guys can see what i'm doing But I'm just dragging it with the razor. So now we're just going to lay our baby hairs onto our hairline. Um, I'm going to use my got to be ultra glue styling gel, which is I saw the other one, the one in the yellow container leaves a bit of a white cast. So for baby hairs, I actually prefer using that one. I don't know why I took that one because I could have just used mousse at that point. I didn't really need to be using that yellow one just because of that cost that it created.
He like these baby hairs are too much. This is not who I am. So now it's not that our baby hairs are laid down, it's not like they're too much. But I'm going to lay down my So guys, I've laid down my baby hairs and I've just gotten the hair out of the way so I'm gonna do my makeup and I'm gonna be back when I'm done with the rest of my face to finish off just to create a more natural parting because you cannot really see where my parting is there and I'll be right back. I'm back! <laughs> um, what a quick upgrade, right guys? Um, so I'm just gonna finish up. I'm just gonna show you the final, final look. Um, so guys, if I see that I have like a bit of flyaways on the top here, I just take a little bit of. Oh my god, to me it's very hard to spray. But I just take a little bit of that, and then I just lay them down with my hands. But I feel like I want the hair to like stand a little bit, so something like that. So what I'm gonna do is that I'm gonna take my battery right, and then I'm gonna spray that a little bit, and I'm gonna let it dry. But I don't want it like in my face. So. I'm taking a brush that I use to conceal my brows and I'm just creating a line across where I made the parting and I just go back and forth between that and the one that I use for my powder. I normally just run this through the hairline as well to give it a more natural look. Um, but isn't this wig just slaying guys? Look at that hairline. Just look at it. Even though I feel like the baby hairs are too much, but y'all. Yeah. And guys, here is my final look. Like, I think I'm done now. Um, I hope you guys enjoyed this video. I hope that you learned something. Please like the video. Please comment on the video. Um, and please subscribe to my channel. Please share the video with your friends and any girl who thinks would benefit from this. Thank you guys so much for watching. <laughs> please click the center to watch my previous video and click on my face on the right to subscribe to my channel if you haven't. Thank you, bye.